on the cusp right. of Thunderbirds. Oh. Which is a very exciting time in the world of Anderson, yeah. I say. But I'm going to give you one word to kick us off. Fire Flash. Right. So, right now, most Anderson fans are imagining in their mind's eye the very exciting, iconic first episode of Thunderbirds and the classic rescue of the Fire Flash airliner by Thunderbird 2's elevator cars, aren't you? Yeah, of course. Let's think of another iconic Thunderbirds vehicle. Not one of the main ones, but a guest vehicle. Right. Sidewinder. Oh. Oh, now, not as popular, second episode of Thunderbirds, Pit of Peril, but ah. I bet you can imagine it clearing the trees out the way, toppling yep. into the pit, the fire, all that I sort of see. stuff. Yeah, great. But did you know that those two iconic Thunderbirds vehicles were not the first place that Anderson fans actually saw those two vehicles? Get away. Mm. So you'd think immediately Thunderbirds, but no. They were first seen in a Stingray story. Not oh, on television, I hasten right. to add, but within the pages of the TV Century 21 comic. Ah, gotcha. So the comic's second Stingray comic strip, which ran from issue 8 to issue 14, opened with a Fire Flash airliner being shot down over a South American jungle by an underwater alien race called mm-hmm. the Crustavans. Oh, right. It could have been Crustavons, but I'm assuming it's a play <laughs> on crustaceans. So yeah, that's good. Let's say Crustavans. <laughs> Stingray is called in to investigate in the story and is carried to the danger zone by a sidewinder, or uh, the jungle Uh cat, as it's called in the story. Uh, Okay. Now, the first three Stingray comic stories all included stills from the television series as part of the action. Every half a dozen panels or so, there would be a screenshot to make it feel like you're watching an episode of the show, uh, except in colour rather than black and white. And so... In addition to being realised by uh, Ron Embleton, the famous TV21 artist, uh, lovely work from, uh, from Ron, the Fire Flash and the Sidewinder were both represented by screenshots from the as-yet-unaired Thunderbirds. I see. That's weird. Yeah, isn't it? The Crustavans story. I, I really want to call them the Crustavons, actually, on second yeah. uh, approach, but who knows? Yeah, I like Crustavons. Uh, but the story yeah. about those crusty, uh, crusty people ran from March to April 1965 which means it uh-huh. started a full six months before Thunderbirds appeared on television. Oh. And it was one of the first hints in the comic of Stingray's imminent successor, although readers at the time wouldn't have realised that. No. But nor would they have taken particular note of the photograph that appeared on the cover of issue five of the comic, mm-hmm. which was Stingray cruising past a beautiful and soon to be very, very famous island in the Pacific. Get away, Tracy Island. Yeah, there's a great, ah! there's a great, quite well known picture of uh, of Stingray in the foreground, Tracy Island in the background, ah, yes, looking, yes. you know, looking quite serene actually. But yeah, yes, nobody would have known that. then Beautiful. that they were seeing the nope. the base of the upcoming uh, yep. international rescue team. Absolutely. So there you yeah. go. Isn't that lovely? That's great. Because now, if that sort of thing happened now, people will be all over it. They'd be, you know, coming up with theories about why stuff yes. appears and oh, how they link together. YouTube and... videos about it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That, or just on those two stills, there would probably <laughs> yeah. be at least 100 20-minute-plus <laughs> YouTube videos examining them and the models and the styling and why they probably came from a different series because of this and that. Anyway. Yeah. Pretty cool, actually. Wow. And, you know, just really lovely that they were those models, those vehicles were incorporated by the guys at um, TV Century 21 because it, it was all really under the same roof. So yes, absolutely, the, you know, Alan Fennell, the, the editor and, and the rest of the team, I suppose, would have seen these models and thought, cool, they're rather lovely. Let's put them into Stingray. Yes. It's nice. nice. And Another sort of gives gr- greater weight exactly to the whole kind of, uh, uh, you know, the, the expanded Jerry Anderson universe. Absolutely. Yes. Feel. Although that obviously wasn't the intention from the, no, the TV no, no. side, but it, uh, no. it became more and more the intention on the comic side. Yeah. So did you know that already, uh, Podstrons? Had you seen the crusty uh, aliens shooting down Fire Flash in the comic originally? And maybe you did know, maybe you had a sixth sense that uh, mm. these were from a new series that you hadn't even seen yet. Mm. Anyway, that's the sort of fab fact that we cover in Fab Facts. I think you'll agree yeah. that these facts are pretty fab. 